24 awesome animals only found in the US. Really excited to get into this and check out some animals only in America. Before we do get into this one, I appreciate you guys can hit that subscribe button. Let's jump straight into this and check this out. The United States is home to a vast array of creatures that can be found only there. From okay. fearsome alligators to the world's rarest wolf. So just for this episode, USA is going to stand for United States Animals. <laughs> and here are 24 nice. of those critters. Uh, you guys got to let me know in the comments if you ever came across any of these. Right, here we go. 24. Hopi oh. chipmunk. Small even for chipmunks. These rodents measure around eight and a half inches long and are oh, native so to cute. southwestern states in the U.S., including Colorado, Arizona, and Utah. They're known for the speed and agility, able to scurry over the sheer rock faces of buttes and canyons. And yo, I swear to God, it's moving like flash speed, bro. It's like it's like teleport look at, like positioning, bro. Hopi chipmunk, they're so cute, bro. I want one. The speed and agility, able to Look. scurry over the sheer rock faces of buttes and canyons and Rapid. perch atop boulders to look out for predators like hawks. Okay. Experts say this species of chipmunk is so timid that even those individuals born in captivity might never become completely tame. Huh? Interesting. 23. Gunnison sage grouse. Grouse are birds that are related to chickens and turkeys, and this species what? is also closely related to the better known greater sage grouse, which is Yo, why does it look like it's like beeping out his chest? Like he's ready to fight someone. Is the largest of its kind in North America. But this Mine. smaller bird has thicker plumes about its head and is known for their elaborate courtship rituals. Okay. Every spring, the males ah. will strut the stuff while the females pick and choose their preferred mates. Wait, are they bird boobs? What are they? What are these? What are they? Are they the eggs? Huh? Oh, I'm mind blown. Courtship rituals. Every spring, the males will strut the stuff while the females pick and choose their preferred mates. The native to southern region. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's a male. Oh my. Bro, what is that? Oh, mind blown. The native to southern regions of Colorado and Utah. What? Is that normal for birds? Allen's hummingbird. Now, these birds measure a mere 89 millimeters long. And oh, wow. like all hummingbirds, it has an extremely rapid metabolism, which requires it to feed frequently. Okay. The males of this species are known for their fearlessness and aggression and are chasing off rivals from the tear tree. They're even bold enough to go after predatory birds larger than themselves, oh, including my. hawks. And these critters are native. Wait, hold on, hold on. Th this bird is not going after hawks, mate. Bro, you're telling me, you're telling me this tiny little bird is going after a hawk. Me, how aggressive are they? <laughs> These are known for their fearlessness and aggression and are chasing off rivals from the tear tree. What? They're even bold enough to go after predatory birds larger than themselves, including hawks. And these critters are native to several counties in Southern California, including Los Angeles and Orange counties. How is that going after a hawk, me? How? 21. Giant Ooh. garter snake. Seeing a snake that measures more than five feet long, well, your first impulse might be to run. Yeah. But in the case of this large garter snake, you can make do with a brisk walk instead as opposed to an outright scramble. And that's okay. because that while this serpent is venomous, it is harmless to humans. Its venom contains a mild neurotoxin that subdues its prey. But the effect of Yo, it might be harmless to humans, but like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be bit by that, bro. Or wrapped, it could strangle me. Nah, I'm all good. On humans would be no worse than an itchy red rash around the bite area. Oh, really? Primarily aquatic, it is the largest species of garter snake and is native to wetlands of the Central Valley in California. Mad. 20. Pygmy Aww. rabbit. If you're familiar with the term leopard, you know that it refers to a member of the rabbit and hare families. Well, this is the world's smallest leopard or rabbit, so weighing cute. just over a pound and measuring about 11 and a half inches. The pygmy what? rabbit is certainly that. You can find them in the Great Basin states of the West, including Wyoming, Oregon, and California, assuming Tiny. you can see them, that is. 19. Nay, nay. If you happen to like the state of Hawaii, and really who doesn't, okay. well, you're in luck. Because this is the first of several critters on a list that are native to the 50th state. Nene. The Nene is also called the Hawaiian Goose, which is understandable. Wait, is this? 
what the song's after. Watch me whip, whip. Watch me nay nay. <laughs> since it is a species is. of goose and fyi it is the rarest goose in the world it why is, is a spe why is it got an ankle bracer is it is this like a tracker species of goose and fyi it is the rarest goose in the world oh wow at one point in the 1950s its population numbered only 30 individuals now to die after some successful reintroduction programs there are an estimated 2500 birds extant did oh, you know wow. by the way that the nene is the state bird of hawaii Bro, it went to as low as 30? Wow. 18. Alaska Marmot. Aww. You'll find these furry rodents in the Brooks Range in Alaska. Weighing about 4 kilograms, the animals are recognized by the short neck, thick They're body, cute. powerful legs, and bushy tails. They're They're said to be sociable critters living in colonies that can number up to 50 members. And these rodents also have their very own day in Alaska. While February 2nd is Groundhog Day for most of the U.S., it okay. is actually Marmot Day in Alaska. The idea was to create their own version of Puxatawney Phil. If you celebrate Mama Day, tell us all about it in the comments below. That's cool. Yo, what happens on that day? Like, do, do you go and find one of these animals <laughs> and treat it like a king? Like, what, what happens, bro? 17. Pygmy Rattlesnake. Now, this serpent Ooh. makes its home in the southeastern U.S. and measures up to about 24 inches long. They okay. are venomous pit vipers, but they are not considered dangerous to humans. And that's because Luckily. they produce low quantities of venom. However, victims could still experience some unpleasant physical effects. For Yo, that is a beautiful looking snake, bro. Bro, why do snakes just look dead? Like, even if they're not dangerous to humans, like, especially like this one or whatever, right? Bro, they just look dangerous, man. It just look badass. Several days after being bitten. The temperament of these snakes seems to vary by the individual. Some of them are fierce and aggressive, while others simply appear too lethargic to even rattle a warning. Oh, wow. It's a good video. 16. Island Fox. There are eight channel islands of California that are located in the Pacific Ocean. And right. one of the better known names might be Santa Catalina Island. Well, this Beautiful. small fox can be found on six of those islands. And there are actually six subspecies of the fox, and each animal is unique to its island. Experts Gorgeous. think they have existed on the archipelago for upwards of 16,000 years. But its geographic isolation has left the animals with no immunity to parasites or diseases huh? carried in from the mainland. Oh, wow. Wait, are they being affected heavily then? 15. Years. Island Night Lizard. Now, foxes are not the only animals native to California's Channel Islands. Also on the list is this reptile, which can be found on San Nicolas, Santa Barbara, and San Clemente Islands. Okay. They can measure more than three inches long and are called night lizards because they were once thought to be active only at night, which has oh, since wow. turned out to be false. And rather than lying eggs... Yo, yo, guys, we're gonna have to get a name change. We have to call them day and night lizards. These reptiles are viviparous. That is, animals that give birth to live young. Wait, what does that mean? To live young? What, so like how humans give birth? Like, we give birth to like... Wait, what? How else would you get... I'm, I'm confused. Uh, listen, I'm not knowledgeable with like animals' birth. I ain't gonna lie, bro. 14. Red Salamander. Measuring more than oh. seven inches long, these amphibians can be found in the eastern part of the U.S. in habitats ranging from forests to rivers. The semi Wait, America has these? Wait, these are only in America? I thought these would like, be on like, some tropical island. My aquatic creature's skin can range from orange to bright red with black spotting that oh. runs down its back. Interesting to note that this species belongs to a family that have no lungs. So they actually respire through the skin. What? Oh, man. 13. Utah Prairie Dog. This smallest species of prairie dog can weigh a little over three pounds Cute. and are native to the south central region of the state, Utah. No doubt you already know oh. that these critters are not really canines, but are rodents that are closely related to squirrels. They're known oh. to build towns, quote unquote, and those are elaborate systems of underground tunnels and chambers housing members of prairie dogs' extended families. Oh, wow. Yo, you know what? I want to dive further into certain animals, bro. Because, like, wow, they're, like, they're really interested. I remember seeing a video about ants, right? Yes, ants. And it blew 
my mind at how like how they live bro because every day you're just walking by you're just thinking oh wow that's just an ant you know what i mean like it don't really do much bro nah they live a crazy life they live a crazy crazy life 12 chicken turtle now, thanks to some distinctive physical traits this is considered to be an unusual species of freshwater turtle endemic chicken. to the southeastern part of the u.s okay. the striped necks are uncommonly long nearly half the length of its pear-shaped carapace also uh. of note are the reptiles webbed feet and the propensity to be semi-aquatic living on the land or in the water oh, wow. and as for why they are called chicken turtle well it's not because they're cowardly it's because the turtle's meat is said to taste like chicken Doesn't Oh, everything. really? Hey, they better watch out, bro. I was, I was gonna say they better start running, but you know, turtles can't run that far. So, yo, if they taste like chicken and we run out of chickens, <sighs> yikes. Eleven Hawaiian monk Aww. seal. Did you know there were once three species of monk seal? Today there are two remaining. One of which is this monk seal, endemic to the Hawaiian Islands, and it is one of only two mammals that are native to the islands. Oh, now, wow. unfortunately, these earless seals are an endangered species, with about 1,100 of the marine mammals remaining. Oh wow! Wait, what is that? Is that because of like hunting and stuff? Yo, we, bro, we, they need to. Especially like when they're endangered, need to protect them good. You you don't want you you don't want like a planet with you know these all these endangered animals going you know optimal disappearing right. Ten Hawaiian hoary bat. Now since we just mentioned that the monk seal was one of two mammals that are Sorry. native to the Hawaiian Islands, let's talk about the other one. The hoary bat gets its oh. name thanks to its perceived frosty appearance of the fur, which has white highlighting on its back. Oh. The nocturnal insectivores can have a wingspan of about 13 and a half inches, but to date, the life history of these bats is still a mystery. Oh wow. Wait, wait, what's wait, what's gets its name thanks to its perceived frosty appearance of the fur, which has okay. white highlighting on its back. The nocturnal insectivores can have a wingspan of about 13 and a half inches, but to date, the life history of these bats is still a mystery. The live history? Does that mean like how many is alive and stuff like that? Wow, very interesting. Nine, Grand Canyon Rattlesnake. More than 5 Blends million in. people make the trip to Grand Canyon National Park each year. And while most people go there Beautiful. for the spectacular scenery, now this is one site you really don't want to see. The Grand Canyon Rattlesnake is found only there in a variety of habitats that includes grasslands, pine forests. Yo, look at his... Bro, is his tongue actually purple? Ah, oh, that's cool. Yo, I... Bro, my favorite color is purple, bro. That is cool. That is badass. I wouldn't want to see it in person. Because then I'm probably in danger, net, yeah? Rattlesnake is found only there in a variety of habitats that includes grasslands, pine forests, and the bottom of the canyon itself. Okay. The venomous pit viper measures about 54 inches long and can be active around the clock. Oh, wow. Eight, blue crayfish. So this animal has the blues, but in a good way. The freshwater crustaceans are native oh. to Florida, and thanks to the cobalt blue coloration, the crayfish are highly desired in the worldwide aquarium trade. Did you know that by surprised. feeding on organic waste and dead fish, the crayfish serves to help keep lakes and rivers clean? Oh, really? Hey, W fish, Seven, bro. short nose gar. With a range that can span the What's Mississippi that? Valley Basin to the Gulf Coast, these fish are ambush predators known for their prehistoric appearance. Growing to about 24 inches long, their body is encased within rows of interlocking scales that serve as a protective armor. Oh my! Do you know what's crazy to me, right? Is how big the ocean is. Just think about all the different kind of fish we haven't discovered. That blows my mind. Because I, I swear when you go deep down in the ocean, you have fish with light bulbs on their head, bro. How is that possible? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I like, I like fish that are fully see through. Like, bro, it is mad. Referring to inhabit calmer waters, the gar plays a role in maintaining ecosystem equilibrium by preying on minnows that can ravage game fish populations. Well, what? I don't understand that. Six, Hawaiian hawk. These Beautiful. raptors are also known as the Eo, which is a reference to the shrill call they can make. They're native to the Aloha state and are easily identified by the stout, bulky bodies. Okay. Known as versatile, opportunistic predators, the birds serve as a royal symbol of Hawaiian legends and That's are cool. sometimes referred to as the exalted hawk. Right, it's a badass looking hawk. Five, Florida panther. 
This subspecies lives in the swamps and forests of Florida, as oh, you wow. might imagine, and it's sometimes referred to as a mountain lion, a puma, or catamount. Yo, imagine seeing they can wait this in the wild, bro. Oh my, I would be so scared. Bro, that would be crazy. Up to 160 pounds and typically prey on animals ranging in size from small hares to larger white-tailed deer. Wow. It's even been known to Yo, I didn't even realize America had like things like panthers, bro. I thought it was just in Africa. You know, like, bro, when, when you watch these movies, it's far, it's far, I don't even know if you see panthers. I don't know, like in, in Amazon rainforest or something. I don't know, bro. Just I, I didn't realize it was in America. Do you know what I'm saying? Crazy. ...to take on the American alligator, which is actually the cat huh? white-tailed deer. It's even been known to take on the American alligator, which is actually the cat's natural predator. Most huh? recent estimates place the panther population at around 160 individuals. Recent estimates place the panther population at around 160... In 160? That's it? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it would be very rare to see one. Individuals. Four, American paddlefish. Related to the sturgeon, this fish has been swimming around for more than 300 million years. Native to the Mississippi Valley what? Basin, these are some of the largest freshwater fish found in North America. Massive. Going about five feet long and weighing around 60 pounds. The name stems from the rostrum, or oh, the paddle-shaped appendage that extends about one-third the length of the body. Oh, wow, mad. Three, American alligator. Of course. Down in the southeastern US, these critters are more commonly referred to as gators. Yo, I absolutely love watching videos of alligators because, bro, they just remind me of dinosaurs, man. They are such cool looking things. How not do I want to go near one? Unless I'm protected. They're so cool, bro. Residents may have gotten used to the big reptiles, but wow. make no mistake, weighing around a thousand pounds and exceeding 15 feet long, gators are aggressive apex predators, ready to chow down the fellow reptiles, birds, fish, and mammals, which Anything. could include a side order of human meat. Sources indicate there have been at least 28 fatal attacks on humans since 1970. Even so, the American alligator wow. is the official state reptile of Florida, Mississippi and Louisiana. Beautiful, though. Honestly, beautiful. I love it. Two them. notable omissions. Now, since this is a list of animals found only in the U.S., some okay. of you might be wondering why famous critters like the bald eagle, California condor, or grizzly bear are missing. Well, those animals are strongly identified with the U.S., but they are not found exclusively in the contiguous 48 states okay. or in Alaska and Hawaii. Right. The bald eagle, for example, has a range that extends from Canada through the continental U.S. and into Mexico, while the California condor has historically ranged from... Yo, this was like a bird that wants to fight everything. This is like a warrior bird, this does. Has historically ranged from the Western US and from Canada to Baja California in Mexico. And the grizzly yeah. bear is a subspecies of brown bear that can also be found in Canada. So right. there is a reason why these animals were excluded, even if the bald eagle is the best known animal symbol of the right. United States. Sure, makes sense. This is only in America. Number one. One, red wolf. Beautiful. These cannons are also known as the Florida Black Wolf or the Mississippi Valley Wolf, Love which wolves. ought to give you some idea of where they can be found. According to fossil evidence, these animals have inhabited areas of the southeastern U.S. for the past 10,000 years or so. Oh, they wow. present something of a taxonomic mystery, though, since they look and behave like the hybrid of a gray wolf and a coyote. But their exact lineage has still not yet been officially determined. Did you know that this is considered to be the rarest species of wolf? But it's oh, wow. also one of the world's most critically endangered wolf species as well. Aww. Honestly, I absolutely love wolves. I absolutely love them. Always have. I don't know. I just got a soft spot for wolves, man. I really do. But yeah, really, really cool video. 24 animals only in America. Let me know if you guys have seen any in person or came across any. That'd be really cool to find out which ones in the comments. Uh, but yeah, great video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch on TV4 slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.